Hi, welcome to The Alexa Show, a new web series about cooking with tea, only on The Daily Tea. Today we're making masala chai tea pickled peaches. Now I know what you're thinking, masala chai tea, pickle, peaches, but I'm telling you, they work together. The complexity of the spices in the masala chai tea pair perfectly with the tartness of the pickle brine and sweet summer peaches just bring it all together. If you're familiar with chai tea, it's actually called masala chai tea. So when we say chai tea, chai translates to tea. So technically, we're saying tea tea. So the masala chai tea has a smooth Assam black tea that's blended with cardamom, cloves, ginger, cinnamon, sometimes black peppercorn, and a range of other spices. We're gonna be using this in the dry brine and also in the wet brine. So let's get started by preparing the peaches. Fill a medium pot three quarters of the way full with water and bring to a boil. Then we want to lower two peaches into the water very carefully with a spoon. You don't want to burn yourself. And cover tightly and boil for five minutes. The reason we want to boil the peaches is we want to be able to easily remove the skins. Now, while it boils, let's go prepare our ice water bath. So we just finished boiling the peaches for five minutes, so now it's time to add them to the ice water bath. The reason that we're adding them to the ice water bath is that we want to shock them and stop them from cooking because we want to make sure that they're still fresh for when we pickle them. I've already made our masala chai tea concentrate that we're going to use for the wet brine. All I did was I heated two thirds of a cup of water to a boil and steeped two tablespoons of the masala chai tea for five minutes, strain the leaves, and now we just need to let it cool on the side. It doesn't need to cool to room temperature because we're gonna add it to the hot brine and bring it to a boil. So next, we need to add our spices to our jar. We have 1 8 of a teaspoon of black peppercorns, a half of a bay leaf, one cinnamon stick, and two tablespoons of the masala chai tea. Again, that's gonna reinforce that spicy masala chai tea flavor. So we just need it to add to the jar. Now our dry ingredients are ready to go in the pint jar and the peaches have cooled. Now that the peaches have completely cooled, we can easily peel them. So take them out of the ice water bath and you should be able just to get that skin right off. If you're having trouble peeling it, I recommend using a vegetable peeler. You just wanna be really careful and gentle with the peaches because you don't wanna bruise them or put so much pressure that they release their juices. You really wanna make sure that they stay in the peaches. So now that we've peeled the peaches, we just have to cut them off the pit and slice them. So, just cut them off. And again, we wanna be really gentle when we're cutting these that we don't release any of the peach juices. Mm, these smell so good. It's taken a lot of restraint not to eat these right now. And once you're done slicing them off, we want about 10 to 12 slices per peach. So now we're done slicing the peaches and it's time to move on to making the brine. We're going to combine two thirds of a cup of white vinegar with a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a half a teaspoon of pickling salt. Now if you don't have pickling salt, you can use a fine kosher salt without any additives. And then we're also going to combine our masala chai tea concentrate all in the glass measuring cup. In the same pot that you cooked your peaches, add your brine. And now we want to heat our brine to a boil. And then stir the salt and sugar until they've dissolved. And now that the brine has come to a boil, we're going to carefully add our peaches right into the brine. Just bring the brine to a boil, turn off the heat, and take it off the stove. Mmm, that smells good. So now it's time to add our peaches to our pint jar. The reason that we're not adding, we're just not pouring the pickled peaches and the brine right in is because we're not sure how much liquid we actually need. So it's best to start by adding the peaches right to the jar. And now we're ready to pour the brine right over the peaches. You wanna be careful because it is still hot. Okay, so now we have everything in the pint jar. The peaches, the brine, the spices, 
and now we just have to seal it airtight. So I like to hold a towel right around the jar because it's pretty hot and then you want to seal it airtight. Get a really tight seal and just put it in the fridge overnight to let the pickling process take place. The peaches have pickled overnight so now they're ready to taste. I like to add them right to the top of my salad or you can grill them and serve them as a side or snack straight from the jar. Get the full recipe for masala chai tea pickled peaches right here on The Daily Tea and check back soon for more tea infused episodes of The Alexa Show. If you enjoyed this episode, download the recipe for free on The Daily Tea.